Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect your PS5 controller to a Mac. Now, if you're looking for the written instructions on how to get this done, you can find a link to my website in the video description. Now, there are two ways to get this done. One is using a wired method, and the other is using a wireless method. So I'll show you both on how to get that done. And at the end of this video, I'll show you how to get this set up in working with your Steam clients if you do want to do some Steam gaming on a Mac, which is kind of weird, but hey, teach your own. Okay, so connecting this with a wire is pretty simple, um, but you might need to buy an adapter possibly. The reason I say that is because there's a USB-C port at the top of the controller. You wanna use the PS5 controller wire that came with it. Um, it'll connect in here, no problem. The other end of the cable is a USB-A fitting. Chances are it won't fit into your Mac, especially a MacBook, because they usually have USB-C fittings. That's where you probably have to buy some sort of adapter, um, one like this. This is one that I use. It's a USB-C adapter to a multi different uh, ports. So there's an assortment of ports and one of them being a USB-A fitting, which is perfect for this type of scenario. So you can kind of just Google search or whatever, uh, USB-C adapter, multi adapter if you want and kind of buy your own. The other thing you can do is just as simple as just buying a USB-C cable. So both ends of the cable are USB-C fitting and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to switch over to how to get this done using the wireless method, which is probably just as easy as the wired method. So to get started, you want to put your controller into pairing mode. In order to get that done, you want to press and hold the PlayStation button and the share button on the controller together at the same time and hold it until the lights on the PlayStation 5 controller start to flash. When it starts to flash, that's when you know it's in pairing mode. Then you want to jump over to your Mac. And on your Mac, open up the main system preferences menu. Then select Bluetooth and select the DualSense wireless controller, and that's pretty much it, you're done. Now we'll cover how to get this set up with Steam, which is also pretty easy. Now there are a couple of ways to get this done on Steam, but we'll stick to my preferred method, which is super simple. And from your Steam client, you wanna open it up and then select big picture mode, which is usually the icon found at the top right. It's kinda of like two little arrows pointing in different directions. Tap on that and it'll open up big picture mode. From here, you wanna select the gear settings icon in the top right, then select controller settings under the controller section, and you should see your PS5 controller under the detected controllers section. If not, and you just connected your PS5 controller for the first time, or maybe just installed Steam for the first time, reboot your Mac and try again. From here, you can calibrate some settings and kind of even mess around with the menu using your PS5 controller. Go ahead and test it out and you'll know right away if it's working or not. Now, the last thing to do is if you have a PS5 console and you wanna connect your controller back to the console, we're gonna cover that right now, which is super simple. All you need to do is take the USB cable that comes with your PS5 controller, connect one end to the controller itself, the other end into your console. So just simply press the PlayStation logo on the controller and that's it, it's synced up. You can now disconnect the cable and it'll continue working in wireless mode with your console. And that's pretty much a wrap for this video. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.